Hey everyone, Alex is here from Red Sign. Yo, so, yo! Uh, we're here today and we are reviewing the Lucifixion Flash. Uh, this is a custom piece. Uh, My custom piece, bitch! I'd say, Gio, just pick this piece up. So we're going to go over it, we're going to let you know what we think. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yo, yo, so like Alex was saying, I just recently picked this piece up. It's been sitting in Alex's house for about a week because I had it delivered here as I was away. Um, and he had the good grace to get it out of the box and check it for me and then leave it on his table for fucking a few days, which was lovely. A bit dusty. A bit dusty now. <laughs> so um, I picked this piece up. I got really excited when I saw a few concepts of this. And when I saw this, you know, there's been a few flashes. So there's been the prime one that's coming. And there's also a museum one that Alex has picked up. I actually wanted a little bit more action in my flash. Um, and I'm, I've got to say, you know, getting onto this, uh, I'm quite impressed. We'll go through the details and, and start from the base and work our way up, measure it, weigh it, all that jazz. Um, the usual shebang. Yes. Let's talk about the character first. If anybody doesn't know, I think this is the second um, incarnation of the Flash. This is Barry Allen version. Um, now, the interesting part about what's the comic? The uh, first appearance was uh, 1956, and it was uh, showcase comic number four. Number four. Now, um, so he's a pretty old school character. You know, he's a well, you know he's a his, uh, he's OG, birthday. yeah he's an OG um, Justice League guy. And obviously, you know, these pieces now are starting to come out after the Justice League film and, you know, some hints and things like that. These started, they're starting to come out of the woodwork now, aren't they, these flash well, Prime, pieces? The, We've been waiting years, by the way, the years. The official ones, I mean, like, Prime One have done uh, one where he's uh, kind of running up the wall. Yeah. Uh, they've also just done the TV show version, and I think they've done a larger scale of the Justice League version. Uh, and then you, all of a sudden, you have a lot of custom pieces I think you have the Zion Arts one uh, you have the Lucifer Fiction one Salt and Pepper Salt and Pepper one where he's running through the waves um, and then you also have the uh, Bad English Studios which is more museum which actually goes very well with the uh, sort of PF look the DC BF stuff and yes a few others as well but yeah. now this is an edition of 40 so this is incredibly rare um, which is a, is a great thing um, for a lot of people that you know want their pieces, you know, if you're a little bit elitist and you want these low numbers, then it sort of suits right up into that street, doesn't it? Um, Barry Allen is actually, you know, he's he's got these uh, crazy superpowers. He's got lightning fast reflexes. Apparently, you know, what's interesting is he is actually a uh, he works for the police as like a forensic investigator. Uh, so he's he's super smart and he's working late one night. Lightning bolt as it does, then it just comes out of nowhere smashes loads of chemicals chemicals go all over him and then he notices he can run really fast so he makes himself it like he makes himself some red tights with some lightning bolts on him <laughs> it's like electro gets struck by lightning and electricity at the same, at the same time. time yeah <laughs> he's having a shit day do you know what I mean bad day for him yeah and freaking uh, yeah so I mean he's obviously got this cra I mean we've all seen from you know the films and things like that the sort of powers that they have how fast they can be is crazy he's like him and Quicksilver you know, I mean, he's even beat the uh, Superman in a race. Like numerous versions of the Flash have raced Superman, and although the the battle, the results vary, majority of the time the Flash wins. So that tells you how fast he actually is, which is crazy fast. Um, he also has a power which is strange. He also has a power where he can make his body vibrate so fast that he can actually pass phase through objects. Matter, yeah. yeah, which is amazing. So that's pretty cool as well. And he can travel through time. Yeah, using the uh, cosmic treadmill, he can. Yeah, he can't do it on his own, but with that, he can. Um, the piece, like I say, is an edition size of forty, so it's rare. And let's start on the base and some of the details. Then we'll work our way up. Okay. Well, the base is um, is basically a road, and he's uh, running through, and he's kind of sending all the parts of the road up as he's doing that. Uh, most of these pieces do come off. George won't know which ones because I put it together. Yeah. I think it's all all of these ones there. Yeah. And. Most, oh, I'd hope so. It's there. Uh, and some, yeah, most of those four there. Right. I'm not sure about them. Either. The interesting thing as well about this base is that these items actually do come off. This is just magnetized on. No so peg, yeah. There's no peg, so you can, if you want to move this, you actually can. And it's the same with this. This is like uh, the the pole at the back, where the speed you can see the, the the way. I mean, it looks to me. Why I like this so much, it looks to me with the stop sign is like a bit of 
you know, irony, mm. where he's like sprinting past, and he's just gone, oh, and, you know what I mean? Oh, I better start to slow down yeah. and stop, and all the roads like breaking up as he goes. But you can see there where he sort of uprooted it from the ground, you know, the stop sign, which I think is really, really cool. Mm. Um, I would actually, as well, when I get this home, I'm actually going to play around with the display a little bit. I could actually lay this box down on its side or whatever else. I really like um, the details, the uh, yellow lines and the broken up street I as it's running. Yellow could be a bit more vibrant. No, but I like that because it it doesn't distract from the yellow on him because his yellow is very yes. vibrant. So if that was bright as well, it may look... You know, streets don't have them bright yellow lines unless they're freshly painted, do they? They look like that. They look like all fucking battered up with bits of black and shit in them. And I think that's that's where they've got it right. I think one of the problems with the, the actual stop sign, I mean, it's not fitted very well, but it is no. supposed to put, look like it's... Uh, yeah, yeah up, be it's careful. supposed to be like a brooted. Uh, but also... I think Peg looks a little long and all, doesn't it? So that yeah, it's a bit, it moves a bit. It does. I mean, I really um, heavy and all. I was tempted to kind of get something and try and kind of neaten up the hole to try and do it, but then it's not my piece, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah. But I do also think that the actual red on the stop sign and the white could have been a bit better to actually yeah. look more like a sign. Yeah, it does look a little bit. Um, it's not exactly <laughs> the. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Definitely looks a little bit more uh, matted, doesn't it? I mean, they, what they should have done is gloss that make it look a bit like it would I mean to be honest I don't know why they sculpted this mm. I would just have like a metal a sign. sign I would have a tin sign that's how I would have done it yeah. so I mean this is really heavy as well and the thing you have to be really conscious of like Alex was saying is because the way the peg is and because of its positioning yeah, the position it would fall straight onto it would hand. literally land on his hand probably snap one of those fingers so you have to be incredibly careful with how you place it and then make sure you've you've got it in there properly before you start messing with it. So the piece, um, it comes with the base, which is a big solid base. Um, it then also comes with, I believe, four or five of these uh, lumps of rock. Yeah. Uh, they're all separate. So these these all come out and they're very of uh, like a key. And um, I think there's one over there, which is actually, uh, that's a key. I'm sure there's one which was a peg somewhere. Nope, they're all keys so far. Make me look bad here. I don't want to keep pulling these. There you go. There's, no, there's one that's a peg. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, I don't know why we got, we got it there in the end, didn't we? Yeah, no, I don't know where In the end, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I can't get it back in. But, so you got those there. So there's, uh, yeah, four. I think they should have probably, if they were going to go through the hassle of doing that, they should have um, pegged those two there as well because I've got a feeling that some of those may break off in shipping because they, they're very, very fragile. Um, so that's uh, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The figure is all one piece, yeah. apart from all of his wings. So there's another four pieces. So it's like eleven pieces. Yeah, I mean, I really, I, I really love this this um, Daily Planet sort of paper. Um, you know, where you get your newspapers from in, in the states. I mean, he's got like a really this glass crack glass effect looks wicked. Mm. Looks really cool. It, you know the the. the the speed, the wave of him flying past has like uprooted it and smashed it right. and the signs ripped. Sort of boom, yeah, it's just a class. I really like the way that they've done that, really. Mm. I'm happy with that. You know, the details on it are good. The sculpting's decent. I really, you know, for me, I, I, I was actually a bit concerned about the figure when I saw pictures of it. Um, I thought that in certain pictures it looked a little undershaded, yeah. but I'm really happy with the, the, the way they've shaded this piece. I'm really pleased um, with it. Lisa and Greg basically they went back and they asked for more shading. Yeah, that's that's uh, the, the right decision. The person they commissioned it through wasn't too keen, um, and, but he, he went ahead with it, and I think it was a good choice. I it was the right I choice. I don't think this is too too shaded. I think this is a very good amount of shading. Yeah. I think that with then the uh, the style of the paint on the red to the style of the yellow, which is like uh, it almost has little pieces of like glitter in there. Yeah, it's metallic. So it's it's like, like a metallic yellow. Yeah. Like a car paint yellow. Yeah, if you were going to get like a like a, a goldy yellow paint on your car, that's what it looks like. It's metallic, so it doesn't look. You know, when you see it in the light, it's got like a bronze shading in the yellow, and uh, they've done that really, really well. I think that the contrast of the colours is fantastic. I'm really happy, certainly with the figure's paint job. Really, really am. I mean, I, I could say if I wanted to be. Um, if I wanted to be very picky on certain things, I could probably say that these lines and some of these uh, on, on the forearms could be a little sharper, but they don't really over 
they don't really overspray onto the red, mm. which is really really good. That's what you don't want. Yeah. It's just that, yeah. I mean, they're they're really decent actually. They're you know they're pretty good. Yeah. There's little areas that you could sort of nitpick and say that it could be a tiny bit sharper. I really I'm loving the uh, body sculpt on it, and I'm loving the stern look on his face. I have to say that you know I'm very very happy. Um, and and to be brutally honest with you, this is like their first project. And I think you, I think that needs to be taken into account because on your first project, you make mistakes, you learn things. You know, th this is where it's, it's you know, you're very, very unlikely to hit a home run on your first go. Uh, you know, very few people can. But I think they, you know, overall, they've done a cracking job with this piece. And uh, as far as flashes go, I'm super happy with this. I think it's, I think it's really dynamic. I love the pose. I don't think it translates as well in pictures as it looks in person, which I think is a shame, because you know I think it looks absolutely fantastic the pose in person. Well, that's the thing as well. As I mean, I think it's the same photos. The the pose can look a little bit awkward. Yeah. And I just think if you if you take a picture in a certain way, it kind of has that like um, um, that perspective look. Yeah, and the leg looks massive. Yeah, sure. If someone takes a picture down low, it, it looks out of proportion. And I've taken pictures and I've looked at them back and I've gone, yeah, it doesn't really look like. It. In person, it is well balanced and it does look, it does look very good. I think most dynamic pieces don't photograph very well because it's all about how it's that wow factor that impact that it has when you see it in person that you can't really capture in pictures. It just doesn't. It always looks a bit awkward or a bit off. You know, I'm really happy with the muscularity that, you know, the way that they've done the anatomy on this. I'm really glad that they, they went back and and shaded it more because it needed it. You know, there's so much detail in the sculpt that would have been lost. Yeah. You know, you've got all of his leg muscles going on there. You know, his vastus medialis, lateralis, his, everything's just kicking. It's really, I mean, he's, he's a powerhouse. Mm. You know, really well muscled as well. And it's not, you know, endomorphic in its shape. He's, he, you know, he's very... You know, mesomorphics are like a Captain America type. Do you yeah. understand? Like an athlete, speedy, but he always has that hunt. Like yeah, well, you, no, not like a swimmer, you pleb. More like, Fuck you, not, <laughs> more like a hundred meter runner. You know what I mean? Or, uh, you know, or even even a borderline like a floor gymnast. Really powerfully built. You know, big abdominal muscles, really well defined. And I think the detail on the body is, is like my favourite part. I think the sculpting yeah. on the body is fucking nuts. Well, the really. face as well. I mean, I think as well that... Um, They've used that translucent there, resin though again, didn't uh, they? Which is issue. hard to take a picture yeah, of pictures of. issue, like I think it was with the um, uh, RCB Magneto and a few other pieces, they, but they use that translucent resin. So when you take pictures, if you use the flash... It, or certain like, lights. Yeah. Yay! Oh. <laughs> if you use the flash on the camera... Um, it just doesn't really photograph very well but I think that they've done really well on this um, sometimes don't like that translucent resin under certain lights he, certainly under these white lights I don't think it looks as good as it does when they're off yeah. I think there's a lot of light on this piece and I think that translucent resin doesn't do as well as it can I think it's better in warm lights and natural lights to be honest with you yeah. but yeah I'm really yeah, loving the pose the characters well. they're doing um, to accompany this are going to be a Captain Cold and um, a heat wave like old villains from the flash yeah so uh, i would like to have seen probably like a is it a grunt yeah big gorilla uh-huh i'd like yeah, to have seen that but yeah you know we'll, we'll see how they come out and i think they've done some sculpts for those already so what don't you like um i actually think the figure is very well done i think the figure is very well put together um just parts of the base i'm not really a fan of uh i don't i don't know i just think it's a bit it's a bit boring <laughs> i think it could be could be better. I just, I just think all these parts coming off are just not really that necessary. I just, I don't know. Especially these, I'm just, I'm not, I worry about these because they don't come out. Yeah. I'm sure that they, they break and ship them because you can see where that's actually a separate piece joined on. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, they should have just if they're going to peg these, they might as well should have pegged the front as well. Them all. Yeah. Um, could have done with a little bit more separation in these yeah, in in the broken in the broken I mean, base. I take that off because I'm just going to. But uh, I mean, even the this is like a solid like, block. Yeah. Um, but the great thing about that is, look, you can take it all off. You can take it off. You can take yeah. everything off if you wanted to. You could sort of lay. You could even lay this. You could even lay this down. You know what I mean? You could even lay this across the base. You could do anything you wanted with it. You could move it any way you wanted to. Yeah. You could have it your own display if you wish. I mean, it's a bit awkward with that hole there, though. But well, I mean, come around. <laughs> 
Yeah. Something like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it would go there, but I mean, I mean, it's magnetized as well, but you know, it could, you could definitely use it to block it if you wanted yeah. to. You know, you could make it a little bit less simple, or you could just have it so that it's just the, the piece in itself. Well, I mean, it's, if you and just a rut, just a road. Doesn't mean if you're struggling with height. Yeah, that takes a couple of inches off, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely does. Or yeah, like an inch or two. It maybe takes about an inch off. Yeah. All right. So uh, talking about height. All right. So from the bottom of the base to the top of that stop sign, you're going to need around 22 inches in clearance. Unless which your stands up higher, which might be a little bit higher. <laughs> 22 inches, around 56 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're depending on how you're going to display this, but I would say you're going to display it from there. That is the view. So that's probably the, its deepest well, and widest, they're, isn't they're it? Seeing it from the back. Yeah, I understand, but I have to <laughs> me, I have to measure it. So you probably want it just where he's looking at you. So that's probably as wide as it's going to be. So you're probably you're talking about uh, that's pretty wide. That's what I mean about this. I've just got to be careful. So you're looking at. I, I would say you're looking at around about. 18 inches mm. you know 18 inches is about there yeah, there's around about 18 inches that you're going to need so that's it's pretty wide you know that's 46 and then and going from the depth as well wasn't it right all the way through to the front tip of that bit yeah oh yeah useful just a bit over it's about there you'll catch more so you want to just add about a centimetre that's around about 17 and a half I would say you're going to need 17 and a half cent uh, inches so that's again 43 so it's almost it's pretty much block like you're going to, you're going to screw that but i think if you actually angled it slightly differently you can add a burst up yeah i think you're right yeah yeah very i mean we have to weigh this now which is going to be interesting because it's actually really heavy <laughs> it's pretty weighty well, we could do that i mean uh let's uh let's do it let's do it let's do it okay guys so we've uh hey <laughs> got the uh, scales out and um yeah we're gonna we're gonna weigh it uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's have a look. Is it on zero? Oh, it's Sebi, man. I, I reckon we're going, I reckon it's about 20 kilos, maybe, maybe about 15 kilos. Alright, go with your right. Yeah. 12.25, okay. So it's uh, 12.25, which is uh, 27 pounds. It's heavy. So it's a good weight. I mean, it's uh, it's also to do with like, the distribution of the weight as well. Because I mean, the uh, ice bear we had the other week that was fourteen kilos. Yeah. The other week I said about four months ago. Wasn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was a while ago. All right, but no, overall, I mean, um, I think they've done a really good job. I think that you know, for a first project, um, I, I think they've uh, they've done well. I mean, as you can see, I mean, I can see it now. But yeah, some of these lines are a bit uh, wayward, but. For some reason, when you have any kind of uh, metallic -y paint, it seems like maybe it's thicker or something. So it yeah, is, yeah. It is, I think hard, harder it's to get the sharpness. Lines, uh, yeah, the sharper lines. Uh, sharp. But I think they've done a really, really good job. And I am super, super excited to see how that Morbius comes out because that Morbius, um, which they did with uh, Franco Carlissimo, that looks fantastic. Yeah. And it looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm really excited about that. So uh, I, think you know, if, I think if you're looking for a flash, I mean now you're going to get all these choices. So if you want in, if you want in a museum pose, you're going to have that. Um, what's your one? What's it called? Uh, it's Bad English Studios. Yeah, Bad English Studios version. If you're looking for one that's got a little bit of the movie type flash look to it, or the New Fifty Two sort of look, you've got Prime One. Mm -hmm. And if you want a classic Barry Allen flash that's dynamic and it's got like an environmental base, you know. And this is this is what you need this piece here because I think that I think they've 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 really hit the target of what they were after to be honest. I think with even you. the I say this this was produced by uh, Lucid Fiction, but they did it through I believe Salt and Pepper. Yeah, and Salt and Pepper have got another commission coming out as well, which is why he's running through the wall. There's there's so many great flashes. And, yeah, uh, you're, you're, if you're a flash fan, you are absolutely spoiled. Now. Spoiled for choice. Yeah, really? finally after like, waiting nearly ten years for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey. But uh, you know, really good job. And if you're looking to pick this up, I don't know if this is still available or sold out. But um, I think it's sold out. yeah, yeah, it probably has done. But uh, really good effort. So fair play. All right. Thanks, guys. Do the usual business: like, comment, subscribe, and share. Mad love team. Peace. Peace out.
sort your hair out as well. You've got a little wispy gay hair sticking across your head. That's it, well done. Bugsy Malone looking motherfucker. He's a sinner, candy coated. For all his friends, he always seems to be alone. But they love him. You love? No. Let me just. Bugsy Malone. Bell? No. Yeah, for Bell. You feel better? Yeah. No. I don't. Mm. Go get the fucking tape measure and wherever else you put the shit. Oh. Go get your fucking shine box, Donnie! <laughs> <laughs> <All right. clears throat> you don't sound like you're kidding sometimes. I'm just kidding with you. 12.2 kilos. Yeah. Feels well heavier than that. Right, do you want me to lift it you reset it? No, I'm just going to take that out. No, but you have to reset this because I don't trust what you just did. Yeah, you're probably right. Got it? Maybe you need to put the stop sign back on. That's too oh, sick. You turned it off, you pillock. Wait there. Fuck's sake. Do I have to put all this shit back now that you fucking took it all off? <laughs> <laughs> took it all off? Yeah. And you've already said about this. Okay, I've moved it now, you put it back. Yeah, that's it. Chop, chop. Oh! <laughs> it is my 21st birthday. Definitely one of my favourite films, that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Then, yeah, good boy. Making sure you ain't lost. Sex or chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>